I'm sipping on Bella. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm finna paint a picture. Finna paint me a little picture. I'm sipping on Bella. My chick from Bella. My whip from Germany. I'm cooler than LL. I clap my nigga like Patty Cake. I clap my. What is going on? Jeffrey CK here, and today I'm gonna do a new After Effects tutorial based on logo switching it's gonna be the video you saw in the beginning as the usual and I, as always I'm gonna start off in Photoshop uh, I still have this open because this is the same day you're seeing how the bread is baked anyways so you're gonna want your two logos that you're gonna want to switch I like to put them in here to make sure they're around the same size so for me I'm gonna change between this is this is my school's logo that I kind of high deft made it a vector uh, give me a second I want that to go here uh, and then I want that to go to origin. All right, so that's how I want it. I want it to rotate like that, that size, I guess. Um, and I want it to, well, I do want it to go to this, actually. That would be kind of cool. But you know what? We're going to do it to this because we're different. Um, this is my, not my company's logo in school, but we're, uh, we produce uh, videos and documentaries on our school's athletics teams. It's not, not a big deal. And I'm getting way too involved in it. And I'm going to stop. Okay. So first you're gonna to want to save as usual. I like to put it on top. I don't know, I did that last time too. Alright. Legacy save it. Oh. I left the background in. Legacy save it. Uh save. We'll put it uh tut logo one. Make sure you label these good so you know which is which. Don't just like put in some random stuff. Um I started actually labeling stuff this year, real specifically, and I can find it so much easier. Um, tut lo logo. Oh my god, logo two. All right, there we go. So now, when we pull them in After Effects, we know what we're dealing with. Uh, let's go to pictures. Tut logo one and two. Drag them in there. And we'll drag this. And then we'll drag this. All right. So I want the. The CNS logo to go before the second one, so I'm just gonna drag this away for now. And to do this, you're gonna need a uh, to rotate it. You're gonna need it to be a 3D layer. So we're just going to click on this little box right here, and that will let me rotate it 3D. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, yeah, there we go. All right, and then just click your rotation, and now it will let you rotate it in a 3D space. But we're gonna want to keyframe it right here. So we're going to go to transform, and then it gives you these, and we're rotating around the y-axis. So we're going to start at zero, and I kind of want it to, you don't want it to go just keep switching and switching and switching and switching. It'd be really cool, uh, and give me a headache. Anyways, um, we're going to want, uh, no, not the x-axis. I knew it was the y-axis. Throws me off every time. So we kind of want it to like tilt, so you can't really see it that well. Uh give me a second here uh, you're gonna run I forget you need to use this so you just kind of tilt it until you you can still sort of read it and then you just kind of want to like you just kind of want it to disappear so that's gonna we're gonna put this at 90 because a 90 degree angle would mean it has disappeared essentially so it kind of like tilts out okay and then when it tilts out at 90 right there we're going to control shift D and we'll just drag this back. And now we have our first thing done. Um, did I drag two tutorial? I did. Oh no, no, this is separated. Okay. Phew. I was really confused for a second. It just separated it. I know that. I don't know why that was a big deal. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna zoom in on the top line right here to get a little more accurate. And I want North Star Athletics to appear there. And I'll go to logo two, transform. Uh, make this a 3D layer by pressing the little box right there. And that gives you this rotation, which is amazing. And I want it to start at negative 90. So I'm just gonna type negative 90. And I want this one you're gonna wanna whip out pretty fast to where it's kind of readable. So I guess there, would be the most legible, not readable, legible spot. Um, 
There we go. Alright. So it's going to whip out to here. And then I want it to kind of cruise to somewhere around here. And then I want it to whip out to 90. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to control shift D there because I'm pretty sure that's going to look fine. So it goes. Yeah. You're going to want to make this longer. Yeah, that got, that's got to be uh, way longer. Um, which would be easy to do, actually. So I'm just going to put it here. Let's make these two. Because I was editing it a little close. All right. That one's not bad. All right, there we go. And you can make this as long as you want. Again, as normal keyframes, you can make it last as long as you want. And then we'll go back. And then um, I always make sure you're starting at zero for your first keyframe. I don't think that's on. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. Uh, make sure you're starting at zero for this keyframe. Because then when you tilt it back and it disappears to this one and it goes to here, all you have to do is go to this one, transform, rotation, and you're going to want this. It's going to start at negative 90. And then it can whip out to um, where you want to whip out to. So I want this to go to. Oh, yeah, right there. That's fine. And then I want it to go. I want it to drag out to zero. There we go. That looks good. I'm gonna drag this. Well, this is how you can uh, loop it. It sets the region that you want, the play region, I guess. This might need some fixing. And you see how it just continues. You can loop that really easy because you'll have this whole video. And then if it's going to stop, when you render it out, it's going to stop right here. But if you go into any video editing program, I like to use any Vegas on PC. But if you have a Mac, you should probably be using After Effects, or not After Effects, Final Cut Pro. And you can just it'll rotate, and then you can. it's going to stop here. But you can just copy and paste it, and it'll look really continuous. Uh, so it'll be CNS, or Star Athletics. And then it goes back. Um, this looks almost weird. Because it's like a black space right here. Because it doesn't whip out, I guess, fast enough. Alright, that looks better. No, it's still sort of there. I'm not going to uh, put the effort in to change that right now. But you can, to make it look crisp and clean. And you could even pull it over and mess with opacities and stuff. But anyways, that's how you do a quick logo swap. Um, if you want, you can add motion blurs to everything. And we can see how that looks. I don't really add much to this. You can't really tell it's uh, doing anything. But yeah. And then copy and paste that as long as you want. You can have a constant logo switch. And if you're gonna keep, if you're gonna do it for a while, I would really recommend not. Um, overdoing it like I wouldn't go this fast I would have it go from here I would have it whip out to like here and then drag it to zero or drag it drag it drag it drag it drag it drag it I wouldn't even go I would go to zero about here maybe and then switch it out I don't know otherwise you're gonna give people headaches because they're gonna see that and then that I don't know. Anyways, that's going to be it for t this tutorial. Um, if you look into my um, my text tutorial, my uh, I don't I'm not sure what I'm calling that yet, but my text tutorial. If you look at the last part of that video, you can learn how to put like particles and stuff behind uh, the logos too, which will make it more complicated um, looking. So I don't necessarily recommend it in every situation, but if you have something that you think would look cool in the back, I would say try it. Um, also, you can make this background color whatever you want. Uh, it just in case you're really new, solid, and maybe this will look better with white. We have a solid layer, white. Drag it down. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that looks okay, I guess. Anyways, you can do anything you want. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know if I didn't explain something good enough or well enough, I guess, for you. Because then I could um, 
I can maybe elaborate on some of my points in future videos that have to do with After Effects. But yeah, that's just a sim simple logo switch. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, go watch my other After Effects tutorials. This one was really simple. I'm going on forever and I'm overcomplicating it like I always do. Um, I don't know. Have a good day.